just as uh, you would think I am done with the Robert Golob. This is just the beginning. Uh, it's not against the Robert Golob. I will file extermination procedure, a genocide a lawsuit against Slovenian in Obey. Narodno osvobodilnega boja Slovenije, zveza s družem borcev za vrednote narodno osvobodilnega boja Slovenije bo morala na sodišče z mano zaradi genocida, zaradi dejan genocida, zaradi izsiljevanja, zaradi inicijative v izbris, v bitje, bo z mano morala jeti na sodišče, seveda Milan Kučan, Robert Golob, tudi zveza borcev vrednot narodno osvobodilne zveza združen borcev za vrednote narodno osvobodilnega baja Slovenije. In zdaj že verjetno veste, da se zajebavam, po domače povedano, z zvezo združen borcev za tako imenovane vrednote narodno osvobodilnega baja Slovenije. To pa pomeni, da jih bom raztrgal na koščke. Za prvo, tukaj, ko kar vidite, Morda celo javno linčev v središču Ljubljane, vsakega od posameznikov, ki prisustuje, oziroma ki je prisustoval na sestanku z Robertom Golobom. Zakaj bi pa jaz to stvar naredil? Kako bi pa jaz to stvar vendar naredil? Zakaj sem pa tako sovrašno nastrojen proti slovenskemu narodu? proti zvezi borcev narodno osvobodilnega boja. No, zaradi njihove povezave z avstrijskim hajmandinstvom, preko katerega je Nemčija izvedla proti meni, ali pa če hočete obratno za zvezo, Združen borcev za vrednote narodno sodinega boja Slovenije je za pomočjo Nemčije, Avstrije izvedla naprav meni osebno, ki seveda, kot kar bom jo vsem znano, seveda se zajbavam. Glas, ki ga uporabljam, je namenoma tak še zojčen, kot smo ga vajni bili v Jugoslaviji a recimo ribičičev glas, pa recimo od stanovnika ali pa recimo od kašega drugega idiota, smetarja, ki je smetil. Zasramoval, zasramoto, zaznamoval Slovenijo, slovenski narod in kar bi morala biti zveza borcev, narodno osvobodilna narod, Zveza borcev Slovenije, zaradi tega. Zaradi tega predvsem, ker izhajam iz dveh drožin, na katerih, na obeh straneh, so se obe drožine udejstvovali v tako imenovani narodni osvobodilni boj na Jugoslavijo, na Slovenijo, za boljši jutri, for better tomorrow, da ne bom izpadil preveč idiot, naj grem k psihijatrični kliniki Ljubljana Polje. Ej, to dovolj idiot za vas. V slovenskem jeziku od strani matere in od strani očeta. Ni bilo drugega kot partizanov. Na žalost zveze borcev, 
naradigo subdi ni ka boya nismay mali na ba ni kita mabranso dama nismay mali na ba ni patpor ni ko natsis madama nismay mali na ba ni ves komer koli ali sa udes fawali ve ka krsli koli proti sa kunite de yaunosti celo sam si nisam pa čeprav sem orange na jebo od vašega Josipa Broza Tita vi nasledniki Josipa Broza smetari tisti ki še vedno živite za smeti danes je da pošel dan resnice kaj ti največja tožba katera bom sprožil še večja kot proti policiji bo bila v namen uničenja organizacije Narodno osvobodilnega boja Zveze borcev Slovenije. Nekaj, s čima nisem vedel, kaj narediti zaradi omenjenih dejstev, a sem se slednje odločil, da vas bom zbrizal. Morda, če bom res uspešen celo linčal v središču Ljubljane, Zakaj linčal? Zakaj bi to to je pretezakonito? To je, se se hejt spiš, je sovražni govor, je kurac sovražni govor, je kurac sovražni govor. To so bila vaša dejanja, linčanje so bila vaša dejanja. Niso bila pa samo linčanje vaše dejanja. Psihijatrija je postala vse vaše zadnje delovanje in dejanje. To je, če gremo k dejstvu, pak, Bo moral narediti še v angliškem jeziku, vsekakor bo moral to zadevo narediti še v angliškem jeziku. Ne bo šlo to drugače. So you click, you click Joseph Feldner and you are thrown into the page how the Facebook, you Facebook deleted my video. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just going to say to you. <laughs> uh, in, video, in this video, I want to sound sick, crazy as much as possible. That's what I do when I have a lot of overwhelming, really toxic evidence, crime evidence. I do crazy statements and I even act crazy. Because why? Because there is not a fucking thing you can do. And quite contrary, because you're just very much closer to your final end. Let's try again. Uh, this guy's name is uh, Joseph uh, Feldner. He is from uh, Austria and uh, he speaks not Österreich but German. In fact, he is not too far from Slovenian border. He is from the Klagenfurt. It says right there, Filach Straße. Actually, no, from Filach, Austria lives in Klagenfurt, but he is from Filach. Okay. This is a very, very, very prominent uh, leader of the Austrian Heimatdienst. Um, this is, this is a, what they regard as Brambozi in Slovenia, they, they regard this as a Brambozi 
uh, they regard the Slovenian uh, communist uh, dienst regards this as a uh, domobranzi regards this as uh, German neo-Nazi collaborators regards this as a uh, traitor disgrace to Slovenia uh, supporter of the Hitler uh, let's see what else here you can find uh, something else here um, well, uh, the thing is that this guy is, uh, let's see, but, uh, profession, I think he's a lawyer. Let me see this here. Kurtner Heimatdienst, uh, established in 1957, uh, membership 20,000. Uh, the thing is that much of the truth here is not really the truth. Much of it. Uh, some of this uh, Heimatdienst, uh, pro-Hitler, pro-neo-Nazi uh, members uh, fought with a gun in their hands against the Nazism. This is what the horror about this group is. You see, the biggest problem of this group is that some of the members took guns in their hands and they attacked Nazi troops in Austria. In other words, they transformed into some type of partisans in Austria. And the biggest proof for my claim is that Slovenia didn't have the right to any claim of Slovenian land once it occupied parts of Austria after the World War II. And another issue that will support my claim is that Austria was not charged with the same crimes, with the same stuff. Even the Adolf Hitler is from Austria. That's what's interesting. It was not charged with the same as it was the Germany with the same crimes against humanity as the Germany was. Why was it not charged? It was not charged because of this Heimatdienst organization. As I stated, some of these people literally took guns in their hands and they fought against the Nazis with the guns in their hands as presenting a form of anti-neo-Nazi movement during the World War II. Nowhere is the stuff like this mentioned, but I mentioned this on the blog and I pointed out facts, pointed out certain people. The Allies decided that Yugoslavia would not have the right, even that it occupied certain parts of Austria where Slovenian minority lives, would not have the right to uh, attached them to Slovenia. In other words, Slovenia lost parts of land in what is Austria, what is now Austria, because of these people. Because of them being on the right side of the story. And yes, on this side here, which is uh, uh, created by the Equal Employment Opportunity, or maybe it's created by Southern Poverty Law Center, or it's maybe created by, uh, I don't know who the fuck created this. A lot of facts here are just simply not mentioned. So this group was 50-50, but there was a problem after the World War II because Slovenes returned, did not return themselves to the Austria once they occupied those lands, but they brought with them Serbs. And when this Slovenian Heimadins movement observed Serbs with them, with a the Slovenian from across the border, they refused to have anything to do with it. They didn't want to have anything to do with Yugoslavia. The only thing they wanted to do is to have to do is with the Slovenia, with the Yugoslavia not. These are 
things that are very important to consider. Just the entry about who this guy is here. Now this uh, organization Kärntner Herm Heimatdienst, Koroski Heimatdienst, uh, southern part of Austria. Um, their numbers are in great decline. And I'm not even saying that some of these members, maybe, who the hell knows, maybe even this guy here, Joseph Feldner, maybe, I don't know, did associate with the neo-Nazism. I am not saying that they did not associate themselves with the neo-Nazism. This is not what the fuck I'm saying. I'm not saying that every one of these people was clean and uh, okay. I am just saying that I myself was a major contributor to any extreme act that this organization would start to partake due to, as is published on his page right here, this here, due to this thing here. Joseph Feldner, the president of the Corinthian Heimatdienst, sharply have uh, condemned, condemned a public lynching in Celia. This happened on May 2012, and in 2012, oh, look at that, there is nothing here, okay. So what, what we do is, we just go here, we go here, Lynch. Do you know what lynching is? Do you know what the lynching is? Do you know what the lynching is? Lynching is lynching. This is the news. It says 4,511 days ago. It says here 2012, April. They published this in April. Originally, it was published in May. And again, the news has already disappeared. It's gone. Now, let me explain about something here. Yeah. The lynching in the uh, city of the Celia in Slovenia, in Slovenia, Slovenia. That's why I put that song here, this, this stuff here. I like that, man. I like this, man, because you got a lot to be proud about. A lot to be proud about. What is more disgusting than lynching your own people in the name of lies? What is more disgusting than lynching the name of your own people in the name of lies and singing like mentally ill? Priding yourself literally with a mental illness, celebrating literally mental illness. In the name of Zvezas Drusen Borsos of Rednot and Narodnos Boya, what is more disgusting than to claim to be a member of the Slovenian World War II liberation movement, while at the same time murdering what should be presidents of the Slovenian national resistance movement, liberation movement, like myself? You know what I am from? Do you know where my mama, the family is? Do you know where my father, the family is? Why the fuck did you go and lynch somebody like this? Why did you go and listen to your Führer from Belgrade? Your fucking Josip Broz Tito, your fucking Stalin and do the stuff like this. And then you proceeded. It started at age one. What exactly was I guilty to you when I was one year old? What the fuck was I guilty to you? What have I done to you when I was one year old from the family like this? Why have you done test medications, butcheries that you have done and took no responsibility for it whatsoever? And you continue to lynch for the sake of Milan Kuchan and your Stanonic and your 
proletariat, commissariat, Führers from Slovenia, Belgrade deputies, why do you do this stuff? Why do you do this stuff? You know, you lynched me. It's called lynching. People around the world that have seen this stuff, like Feldner, they regarded this stuff as a lynching, as a public lynching, as a public butchery. People saw it. That's why I think you must be publicly lynched. You must be publicly lynched. You must be publicly lynched in Ljubljana, not imprisoned, but lynched. So the people get the truth. So the people get to see you suffer. So the people get to see you spit blood. You are bloodthirsty. You enjoy the pain. You enjoy the suffering. You enjoy. You took pride in a psychiatry. Seeing me falling apart. Right in front of your eyes. Beginning age one. School violence and everything you have done. You deserve to be lynched. You must be lynched. You must be lynched. I will be against your imprisonment. After you get sentenced, I will demand for you to be publicly lynched, to be publicly executed with the lynching, you fucking scum from Ljubljana. Police from Nova Mesta. I want you to be lynched. I don't want you to be imprisoned. You see this here? This guy participated. And he was not the only one who participated. This lynching in the name of the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Polia was organized by Milan Kuchan and not in 2012. This shit started with the Milan Kuchan and Robert Golob in Celi around like 2002, something like this. In fact, I have reported There was one of the police officers from Celia who was involved in this stuff. The post is titled this here. It's titled MK Ultra. Local psychiatrist Peter Kapsch became MK Ultra traffic expert on behalf of Kucha using police to prove schizophrenia case. Robert Golob was a very, very good friend of this lady which is the mother of this police officer whom I have met here when I was doing the investigation on this science, on this MK Ultra stuff. So good friend that I even thought that for a moment during MK Ultra that he could be his son. This is a very beautiful lady. We would enter the apartment building in Celia. And I think this was his mom, but the thing is, there was lynching that went on in Celia. I am in a novel master, you scum. See, this is where I am from. It's called the novel master. And Celia is here. This stuff, however, always went through Ljubljana, unless the police would take me. From Novo Mesto to Celia, this stuff was enforced literally by the Milan Kuchan deputy, whom I have already mentioned. His name is Robert Golop. This individual here, this guy here, this is not the end. This is just the beginning for this guy. I'm going to lay more and more charges against him because he participated and led every crime against me. He was personally selected as Milan Kuchan as Gauleiter for Belgrade. A representative of the Belgrade right here. Who even began to claim that he started to take drugs and that I destroyed him because Yugoslavia had fallen apart that I depressed him and uh, like pledged loyalty to Josip Broz Tito, pledged that they would destroy me and so on. The lynching, you know what the lynching is? You know what the lynching is under MK Ultra? This is when you are redistributed from building to building, from house to house, and it's a lynching. And sometimes you lynching takes right out on the open when you have a trusted people and you have a good number of people, politicians, 
monitored by police, everything checked by the police, so that they make sure that it's everything the way it's supposed to be. In other words, hear nothing, see nothing, know nothing. You're taught, threatened with a psychiatry, intimidated on the side with some guys, showing your fists in the face and so on, with the nobodies, basically, death threatening you and so on. That's a public lynching, and that goes from house to house, and the public lynching involved maximum of about maybe two hours, if really lucky, maybe even four hours of sleep per day. And also days without the sleep. The public lynching is a trauma. That's basically trauma after trauma after trauma after trauma after trauma. And so in this case, and I don't know who Feldner is, this is the thing. I don't know who Feldner is. I don't know who this guy is. See this here where it says cancel request? This request was sent to him two days ago. He's not very keen to accept my friendship request. This friendship request, however, and it's why I already have the proof about it, is directly connected to the Zveza Združen Borcov za Vrednote Narodno Svobodilnega Boja Slovenije, specifically, as I stated, the people that you see right there in the meeting that would met during MK Ultra had me on this session and repeatedly have death threatened me, including with a lady, young lady that you see right there on the left side of Robert Golob, who would not tell me who she was. My guessing was, as she indicated, is that even that she was his secretary, it appeared to me that she worked in that building for already a very long time, but on the other hand, this is the organization of liberation movement, and it's a great possibility that she actually pertains to them. But in the building that you see right there, where Robert Golob was present all the time, and I don't know what building this is, it says right there, where whatever the building is, let me see what building this is. I have no idea where he... I have no idea where he met with his people. I don't know anything about where he met with his people. Uh, but... Yeah, this is it. Uh, I was going to wait exactly four more days to see if I'm going to get a response from Joseph Feldner. See if I can get accepted the friend request I submitted to him. Uh, but I don't have to do that anymore. He stated me that he will be the one who will submit a letter to the Milan Kuchan, a letter to Ljubljana on how I have requested a friendship with him. Everybody, strange enough, knew about this guy. A German guy in Austria where this guy worked, yet it seemed to me like it was some kind of a, a, a journalism or something like that, some kind of building, something like that, some kind of sighting or something like that. I don't know what it was, uh, but it was up in a building, uh, like maybe like on a third floor. It's quite a large building with a lot of windows. Um, This was a German guy. He was very certain about this guy that he can't get anybody else that would help me out. See, the thing is that I definitely don't need any help. But Milan Kuchan is craving right now with the Robert Golob, with the police. They are just, they don't, they don't even get sleep anymore, man. They have a police officer neighbor here, investigator, that is just at home doing fucking nothing. 
watching my videos, waiting for me to do something so that he could write a trial for me. That's a method Yerman. One house away from our house here. Everybody knew this Joseph Feldner who was coming in our house also for the visits. All the neighbors. Every one of, every one of them knew. And during this incident here, when it comes to the public lynching in Celia, which they refer to as a later also period, uh, I published that I saw this on the internet when I browsed Yauni Lynch Celia they, they keep talking about the lynching they keep talking about the lynching uh, without anywhere indicating a real lynching that really went on because MK Ultra it's a schizophrenia they say it's a, it's a schizophrenia see in other words it's like raped women if she will complain against one of these politcommissars protected by the police they would only say it's a schizophrenia and he could keep coming back and rape her and say it's a schizophrenia throw her in a psychiatric hospital whatever and everything that she would say is happening to her it's like saying that drugs do not exist you understand me what I'm saying this isn't about MK Ultra doesn't exist but it's like saying that drugs don't exist this is how far we came with this Slovenian scum filth dirt of the earth the one that would even make Adolf Hitler if he only would have not committed so many crimes against humanity look as an angel you are a fucking scum of the scum the unheard of for this world is what you are Zveza Borso Narno Sogodilnega Voja Slovenia you are scum of the scum the filth you are bigger scum than Hitler Hitler was very bad, but you're even bigger, worse scum than Hitler. You're the one who created Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, just like a Putin, is your baby. This is your offspring. They don't say anything. They don't want to mention anything about it. Okay. But you know, I have to show you this. This stuff is related to the German language. They call this a Yauni Lynch. They call it a Yauni Lynch. Uh, Yauni Lynch in Slovenia it's already if somebody is saying to you something it's already a public lynching so this is not the only lynching this is not a public lynching public lynching is what I described to you that's a public lynching when you're saying a public lynching if somebody denigrates your reputation your name or your um, whatever you do you do have a judicial um, you have ability to defend yourself judiciary through the court system through the judiciary court but in my case I was not allowed to even open my mouth on the court I was not allowed to say anything the only thing I was ordered was when I entered the courtroom which I entered maybe on two occasions was to keep silent and listen only and then those that ran enforced lynching literally from the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje would give their opinions 
based on which the judge already through the created trial in advance for which I was informed drugged up on what is it going to be like have signed the order we don't have the people in Slovenia we have animals we have a scum we have a field here that's why I said if Hitler would not only committed so many crimes against humanity he would have been seen for the crimes he did against Slovenian people he would have been seen as an angel today literally as an angel as a helper as a Christ as a Jesus Christ as your savior I know it's sick I want you to get sick you need to get sick that's how I lost 53 years of my life because of scum like this because of you Socha they don't want to talk anything about this stuff I don't know Nem Shki I don't know but the other day when I did browse this here I was still capable to find this stuff. Yauni Lynch. July the twenty six. No, September ten. That was four days ago when I sent the request to Joseph uh, Feldner. Jauni Lynch Celia, Jauni Lynch Celia. Okay. The, you're going to have to bring the news back about this news I will demand this news to be back gonna find out that Neonic had this news and so on uh, it's a lot in Slovenia talking about the lynch but they don't want to talk about when they talk about a lot about the lynch about the lynching uh, they just uh, they don't uh, they don't talk about uh, they do this stuff so the real lynching could not be seen this is the same thing like Janus Jansha when he became a political prisoner prisoner of conscience when they threw me into the psychiatric hospital without having any rights to do so the same fucking shit the same fucking thing they talk about the lynching in the name of whatever but they're not talking about the lynching don't refer to you whatever the fuck you have as a lynching if you're not referring to my case because this was lynching this was killing it was not lynching Sometimes in 2006, for the first time, I had Germans coming for a visit to this house, but this were different Germans. This was some kind of uh, well-dressed guys, ladies, that uh, just... Uh, uh, I didn't know what the fuck to do with them. I didn't even want what they wanted from me in MK Ultra. It goes to 2004, 2003, the first time they came here. And they keep coming back, but not regularly. Maybe even on every few years. 
I haven't seen them coming here at all. I seen them in 2003 and then three years later. And then again, like three years later. And then again, like three years later. It seems like to me like they were coming back like on every fucking three years. They were not regular guests like other people. Like, what's his name? Let's say this guy. Lemon, Don Lemon, Don Lemon was a frequent visitor, Don Lemon for the first time he visited our home, our house was in year 1997, when it became evident that guy was mentally ill, like totally mentally ill, uh, he was simply obsessed with some kind of equal rights, whatever fucking rights in the name of whatever the fuck. It was actually even earlier. It was not in 97. It goes to 94. He was ob obsessed with, with the human rights. And then, I don't know when, he scored the job at the CNN. This is inside of this home. Is when he scored the first interviews. So according to the first interviews, I don't know. Uh, this could go somewhere to... 1998 2000 something like that that they gave him maybe a job as a at the CNN it actually already stated here American television journalist best known CNN no it was stated here CNN. employer CNN 2006 wow 2006 well, that's rather strange because I was sure that he scored the job sometimes between 98 and between 2000 2001 something like that at the CNN but it says here that she joined the CNN in 2006, which is even later, a later period. He was very, very interesting. Uh, I don't know, they studied him and so on. But he was doing job for some other company, also journalism he was doing, from what I know. I don't know, what the fuck is early in career? With a major broadcast journalism, 96, what is this year? Graduated from, with a major broadcast journalism, 96, whatever, come on, man, give me back that. 96 at age 30, okay. Brooklyn College earned this, worked for the Fox affiliates, etc. This guy, the only thing he had on his mind was a psychiatry. All the time. And whenever the fuck I would see this guy, he only daydreamed about psychiatry, how to get me killed. And he became a prominent guest of these people. That's why. This is why. Of these people, definitely. This is why. This is why, Robert Golob. This is why Zvezda Borz of Slovenia. This is why. This is why. This is why this. These are the people that hosted him. These are the people who wanted him in our house. As an English speaker, give him a psychiatric death threats. They have quite a few of the cookies like this. They made friends with. This was taken from the website of the Slovenian government. This, this stuff here that you see. As you see here, GOV assets, Vlada, Slovenia, Robert Golop.
14 hours ago this this here this is where Don Lemon type of death threats were raining down on me and this Don Lemon death threats started to resurface in a form of Yahoo News with what they refer to as a cancel culture they refer to it as a cancel culture a cancel it's a cancel and it's a culture extermination procedure without having the right to employment your life with a psychiatric pills you're being butchered you're being destroyed terminated that's called a cancel culture it's called a cancel culture I'm gonna show you my underwear what it looks like I want to show you what the cancel culture is what cancel culture looks like once you come to the police station and they give you the stair downs like you are at the MMA or something or at the boxing match you come at the police station you complain about the crime and they call you a mental patient basically asking if you need a medical assistance because you came to file complaint against police this German organization this is what these people were on every three years they came to visit me I most often would not see them however did appear at the Celia that's what's crazy stuff about it and they appeared at Celia in 2012 before I was thrown to the psychiatric hospitalization with a big what became a debate about the German language in Celia and I have no fucking idea even today about what exactly went on with this stuff here because as you see they are even hiding they are even hiding the the media the the the, 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 the items the articles that they publish you don't even get to see these articles you don't get to see the articles like this Uh, they wanted to open this is the thing I saw this stuff already uh, they wanted to open uh, they wanted to open the German language uh, the German the German language uh, like I have no fucking idea what the fuck this, I still don't know what the hell this was it was something about the German language uh, the right to the German language or whatever in Slovenia, I have no idea. Maybe the minority right to the German language. I really do not know what the hell this shit was about. Um, equal rights uh, in the name of the German language or whatever. Uh, it just goes to tell you that, that I have no fucking idea. That I was guilty of supporting Adolf Hitler in 2012 before I was thrown after the lynching that went on for like 15 years plus in Celia I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital accused of the Nazism no no this is the this is the lynching this is a public lynching with the people who pose as somebody who is lynching who was lynched lynching It was torture, it was torture, it was torture, it was killing. And finally, through the Milan Kuchan, through the Joseph Feldner, whom Milan Kuchan have used on the side, yes, Milan Kuchan used Joseph Feldner on the side. That's the way it was. A suggestion came that this uh, whatever language German whatever related to the German language is like a, some kind of a cultural uh, German uh, heritage whatever 
language uh, association, whatever, that will be also based in Celia, maybe based in Celia or whatever in Slovenia. Uh, due to overwhelming rejection of it, uh, even they came up with the suggestion that they would open this association on the Hitler is birthday, something. No, 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 not on Hitler's birthday, but on uh, the Hitler is arrival to Slovenia. On the Hitler is arrival to Slovenia, that they would on this date that they would open this, they would commence the German Association in Slovenia of the speakers. Uh, Joseph Feldner, uh, Milan Kuchon is deputy in my eyes, till proven innocent will have to explain why did Germans that came here in 2003 and in 2006 they gave me a death threat that I am the one who is deteriorating and making the things impossible for them uh, as far as Slovenia claiming me that they succeeded in other countries whatever uh, in, even I don't know they mentioned Romania Hungary whatever uh, I don't know what with the Croatia or whatever but not in Slovenia and because I am the reason and they will retaliate and they will destroy me and I don't know what the fuck they will do well the Joseph Feldner was assistant of Milan Kuchan in 2012 he acted like a bridge between Milan Kuchan and between Slovenia Slovenish Slovenish, Deutsche, whatever the fuck you want to call this, speakers, people, whatever, who wanted to have their cultural uh, 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 um, association here in Slovenia. I don't know. I don't know. You can see that even the news is hidden about what the fuck went on. That's how disgraceful this stuff is. That's how disgraceful this stuff is. And instead of opening this uh, it was uh, Joseph Feldner who suggested me on how they would even cause more damage more harm uh, to uh, to Milan Kuchan to you know supporters of Milan Kuchan to this people here to this people here to Narodna Zveza Borzo Slovenia and, and, and so on and so forth this here so he came up with a plan that the only way more they could do the stuff is he claiming that this is not going to succeed anyway but that what he would do is that he would give a proposition and it would be done in a such a way that would be it would be given out to the people and they would open this association in Slovenia on Adolf Hitler is arrival to Slovenia during the World War II. Adolf Hitler did not have any kind of decent intentions with the Slovenian people. Adolf Hitler's intentions were very clear to resettle Slovenian people to the Slovakia and then accordingly to the Eastern East plan reduce them into zero wipe us out from the face of earth that was his that was his plan that was other Hitler's plan but my case of lynching did not recognize because of people like a Joseph Feldner, because of the people who came here to visit from Germany, because of the Angela Merkel who associated itself with the Putin, with the Kuchan, with the Belgrade, Vucic, Schessel, all these people, with the Croats, finally, with the Plenkovic, with Milovanovic, did not recognize anything like that would come that such a thing existed like a torture or lynching and so I became completely liable for it drugged up as a boss nothing to do with it I was lynched tortured butchered and accused 
of promoting Adolf Hitler through the local Celle German Language Association, which will come on existence on the days of the arrival of the Adolf Hitler in the World War II. Let's see this here. Listen, you're going to watch already these videos by yourself, but Hitler did came to Slovenia. Uh, uh, this criminal who was involved in it, this thug, this gangster, this murderer here, he celebrated butchery, he celebrated crucifixion, he celebrated lynching. He was one of the lynchers who enforced the lynch, even in Austria, where he was allowed to do so. The Austrian government existed only for the support of the lynching on behalf of Slovenia. It only served the interests of the Milan Kuchan. Austria up to date did not have any kind of Austrian government. Are you going to say that's not true? That's true. In my case, that's true. My case doesn't exist. I don't exist. I do not exist. That is true. And so what they did was they labeled me before they threw me into the psychiatric hos hospital with the full signature of the German government of the Berlin and of the Vienna placing on me curse of Adolf Hitler to the, such a degree that it was the German language association established in Celle on the day of Adolf Hitler for my sake because of me because of me it was on the day of the arrival of the Adolf Hitler to Slovenia this is what Milan Kuchan put in golden letters it would be either on a day of the arrival of Adolf Hitler to Slovenia these are the words of Milan Kuchan to me or there would not be no German association in Slovenia and so they did it and this brings us back to this issue here that I have spoken to you about about this Brambozzi about this Heimatdienst in Austria Without absolutely any doubt in my mind, without any doubt on my mind, this Austrian Heimatdienst Slovenes that were compelled to observe myself being butchered, and this stuff started in 1972 when I was delivered to Italy, to Austria, for the torture purposes. And they could do nothing other than watch, just as I stated, Austrian government did not exist. German government existed even less. They were there only to serve whatever they were told. Due to a loser status which they inherited after 1945. This is the way it was. They started to act crazy. They started to act insanely. They became radical. And in the protest, they started to provocate with the Nazi issues. Associates started to associate themselves with the Nazism. I don't know if there was no Nazis in this organization. In my opinion, personal, there were. This is again, I'm not saying that there were no Nazis in this movement. But a lot of stuff they have done. And I'm going to say after 1972, whatever negative stuff they have done, they have done it to provocate, to protest, because there was absolutely nothing to lose on the table. When you have a person in front of you that is being butchered, a 
as a child, as a baby, for the sake of some kind of glorification, of some kind of, uh, and it was not some kind, it was a big victory. I am proud of being from the family, where the family were partisans, on both sides of the family. I'm proud of it. I'm not giving anything of it. I'm not giving. My grandfather received the highest honors, the highest medals you possibly could receive during the World War II in Yugoslavia for the bravery he did. I am not, I am not ashamed of my heritage. I'm not ashamed of my heritage. But I am ashamed of these people here, this scum, for which I suggested you I will eventually try to get them lynched in the middle of Ljubljana. You know why? Just so the people can get the taste of justice. You know, it would be nice to see them lynched. It would be nice to see them bleed. It would be nice to see them butchered all over Ljubljana. Because the problem is, many of these scumbags won't leave that long as I will. The problem is, Many of these scums will not leave as long as I was butchered, as long as for the duration I was tortured. I was tortured for 52 years. There is no way I possibly could make their life hell like it was mine. So I think it would be nice to see something disgusting, gruesome, something that we have actually seen during the World War II, but not in the name of Hitler. I think it would be beautiful to see this scum climb on the floor without limbs. I think it would be nice for the difference for the people to see that there is justice. For the people to see that if you will do the stuff like you have done to me, you will be justice due like this. It would be also the only reasonable justice, justification of the procedure that was done to me. I will demand crucifixion. I will demand lynching from you, scum. I won't stop at the lawsuit. I want you fucking lynched in the middle of Ljubljana city. I want you fucking lynched. I don't care nothing about NOB anymore. I was very patient to it. I tolerated it. I thought about it. Night and day, 24 hours, 7 days a week. For the last 6 years, I was thinking about you scum, what to do with you. Because it was people from Novo Mesto that were part of NOB and they didn't like the stuff you did. And it actually started to make me think about it because it was people, this happened too late. These people, younger people, they came out too late. I was so poisoned with the hatred that their fathers, their forefathers did, that anything you would say to me, as long as it would be insultive toward the people that were doing the torture to me, and you don't have in the Slovenian police, you don't have absolutely anybody other than grandkids of the parents, grandparents that participated in the national liberation movement of Slovenia. You don't have any other people. Very seldomly you would have other people. I'm not, I shouldn't say that you don't have. Because you do have. You need to pay for this. And the money is not enough to me. You're going to the prison is not enough for me. I want you fucking lynched, motherfuckers. I want you lynched. Now I will work to get you lynched. I don't want the money till I see you lynched. Literally. Every one of them participated my hospitalization and here seeing stuff was one of the biggest provocations one of the biggest insults I got from something I should have been even president of. That's why scum, 
That's why. You made me feel wanting to affiliate myself with the Adolf Hitler and kill even cats and dogs with you scum in Slovenia because they're from Slovenia and this was the purpose of the stuff you have done to me this was your national liberation your freedom of World War II m movement Vaše vrednote, kot se imenuje, vrednote, the values, they, they talk about the values, yeah? If you translate this garbage here, this scum, they talk about the values of the national resistance to Slovenia. The main value that became of a national resistance to Slovenia is, a is the right to the public lynching, proclaiming people as an alien, and publicly lynch them without bearing any responsibility for it under complete jurisdiction, supervision and enforcement of the police and psychiatry against the victim. This is worse than a witch hunting. I want the justice and no other justice than lynching will do me justice. No other justice then lynching will do me a justice. You understand? I told you, I don't mind Slovenia to be nuked out of existence, even if I am inside of the Slovenia. I told you how much I hate you. You disgraced me, you disgraced my grandfather, you disgraced my entire family, you destroyed my family. Please, I'm asking you, whoever you are out there, if you consider to nuke Slovenia out of existence, please use nuclear weapons, use it, use it, dump them here, kill everything that walks, that talks. Please. Do me a justice, please. Because they won't wake up. They won't do what is then for them to do. They don't understand Slovenian language. They don't understand the civil way. They don't want to comply with the law. They do not recognize civilized. They're barbaric. They love butcheries. They love lynching, they love killing, they love public killing. Please use, if you have a nuclear weapon, please. The moment that I see that nukes covered the sky in Slovenia, I will be eternally grateful to you. This individual will get the police invitation because he acted on behalf of Milan Kurchan against me. This Heimatdienst basically misrepresented me in a light, have used my circumstances, which were completely unbearable, unlivable, without a dime anywhere, blocked from employment. He went ahead with the Milan Kuchan to create, or give the Slovenian a nation, Slovenia! He gave them the biggest reason the main reason for the psychiatric hospitalization. Please, whoever you are, you listen to this. If you have a nuclear arsenal, please kill the motherfuckers. Throw all the nukes you have in this little country here. Please, burn them, kill them all. 